I am sure that you have heard by now all of the wonky news that's going on. 50 senators are issued satellite phones amid growing concerns of security risks to members of Congress. The technology had been offered to all 100 senators, and at least 50 of them have accepted the phones. Senate administrative staff recommend that senators keep in close proximity during their travels, saying that the satellite communication is being deployed to ensure a redundant and secure means of communication during a disruptive event. This news, coupled with this news, 60,000 pounds of explosive chemical lost during a rail shipment. A train transporting ammonium nitrate from Wyoming to California somehow lost 60,000 pounds of this explosive chemical. Hmm. A chemical that is used to make boom booms. All of this has got Americans extremely on edge with a very looming real threat that something big might take place very soon. If an EMP is deployed, or God forbid, a nuclear war were to break out, we would lose immediate and constant contact, both with our phones and via internet. And I don't know, I've never been through either one of those things. I don't know when it would come back on, if it would at all. So I'm going to treat every minute like this is my last chance to give you my wisdom and my advice. And I'm going to use this one to give you, in my opinion, the most important advice Andy could give you. Guys, I don't know what's going to happen, or when, or if for that matter. But I'm going to treat it like after I put this phone down, I might not be able to relay anything to you again for a very long time. So if for some reason, something does take place, I need you to promise Andy something. Please, please, please. Please promise me, no matter what, no matter what pressures, no matter what threat, please don't take the mark of the beast, the mark in your right hand or forehead. That will be required in order to barter, sell, or trade, and basically eat. This is the most important advice I can give to you. Do not succumb to the pressures. It would never be worth the price that you would have to pay. Now, I don't know what's going to happen or if, like I said, anything's going to happen at all, but it is always a good idea to be prepared. Even when things like this aren't going on, you should always have your family completely prepared for any kind of catastrophe or event. I'm not saying this to spread fear. Mm -mm. The news is doing a good job of that on its own. I just want to make sure that you guys are safe and protected. And you do not, don't you dare to, don't, don't, don't take that mark of the beast. I really wish we didn't live in such a yucky world. And it just seems to get yuckier and yuckier with every single passing day. I want to go back to before 2020, when things like worries over nuclear war or EMPs, threats to our country, were the furthest things from our mind. All right, I got that out of the way. Now I promise it will be business as usual. I will continue to spread as much cheer and as much love as I possibly can until I can't. But this piece of advice is just too important to share, to not share while I know that I'm still able. I love you so much. Love you.